Hi, in this short video, I am going to show you a simple case scenario. A 4 year old female child presented with a protruding polypoidal mass through the vagina. It is a very simple case scenario but the catchy point here is the age. 4 year means it is a very young age. So what could be the diagnosis? It is embryonal rhabdomyosarcoma of vagina. Okay. This is also called as sarcoma botyroids. Why? Because this protruding polypoidal mass will sometime appear like grapes in cluster. That is why it is called as botyroids. And sarcoma is the name given for any malignant neoplasm arising from the mesenchymal tissue. Here you can make out it is rhabdomyosarcoma which means it involves the skeletal muscle and it is a malignancy. Since it involves a mesenchymal component we call this a sarcoma and rhabdomyo means skeletal muscle. So it is also called as sarcoma botyrides. Coming to the microscopy the tumor cell will be very small with oval nuclei. But what I want you to know here is the cytoplasm of this tumor cell will be seen as a small protrusion from one end. Remember the cytoplasm is seen as a small protrusion from one end which they compare it to a tennis racket. So the tennis racket appearance of a cell under light microscopy is characteristic of embryonal rhabdomyosarcoma. Since I have told you tennis racket appearance of tumor cell we shall see where else we get this tennis racket appearance which is important for the exam. So Tennis racket appearance under electron microscopy. Remember this is under electron microscopy. What we have seen in the previous slide is light microscopy. This is seen in a condition called Langerhans cell histiocytosis which is a clonal proliferative disorder of Langerhans cell. So in this condition the cytoplasm of the proliferating Langerhans cell they will have characteristic rod like granules which are called as Birbeck granules. So Birbeck granules is the name of the granule. These granules are nothing but pentalamina tubules with a dilated terminal end. So this dilated terminal end tubules will appear like a tennis racket and these granules contain a protein called langerin. Remember tennis racket appearance under electron microscopy is characteristically seen in Langerhans cell histiocytosis. The granule is Birbeck granules. So this is the electron micrography picture which can sometimes be asked as an image based question and I will put a circle on that so that you can see you can appreciate it and I have also put a tennis racket so you can compare the tennis racket to this cell. So this is a typical tennis racket appearance of a Birbeck granule in Langerhans cell histiocytosis whereas under light microscopy if the tumor cell shows tennis racket appearance then it is a feature of embryonal rhabdomyosarcoma. Thank you.